hey there welcome to another episode of live wire magic and in this series we look into the various cool things that you can build using laravel live wire in this episode we will take you through a demo of email editor that is built using laravel live wire alpine js and tailwind css and this also has a feature where you can generate the dynamic emails using chat gpt api Alright, so this is the email editor and it has different sections so we can take you through the front end. The first one is the email editor wherein you can type out the email subject, email body and from whom this email is being sent. It also has a preview ability so that you can actually preview the emails before sending it. Next up there is a section to select the users to whom you want to send this email to and uh, you can basically select the users from this list. Next up, there is a section through which you can handle the attachments that you are going to attach into this particular email. And next up is the send button. You can also have an option to schedule the email at a particular time anywhere later than the current time. All right, so let's take a look into how we can use this. So basically you can have your email templates, the subject and the body stored in the database and have a configuration through which you can load different subjects and body into this email editor or you can use, um, you can have the content and subject stored in the mailables that Laravel generates and have them loaded here. For the simplicity of the demo, I'm just putting in a dummy subject and a dummy content in this editor so this is how my email subject and the email body looks and if you want to preview how this email would look into the users mailbox then you can click the preview button and this will use the laravel's default mail template to render the preview of the email and this is the subject of the email and this is the body and this is how it will look the next cool thing that this email editor is capable of is compiling your variables into the actual values. So if you say user name and you go back to the preview, this will actually render the value of a random user to which it is sending the uh, previewing the email for and you can see the actual result of how it would look compiling those after compiling those variables so you can have the changes configured here let's say i want to bold this text and uh, do some italic here so everything will be uh, rendered perfectly and you would be able to see the results directly here before sending the email once that is done you can also configure which all variables you can allow your email editor to use so let's say you are working on an e-commerce application and you want to have the user's order detailed to be compiled in a form of a variable then you can uh, i will show you in the code where you can configure that and you can just pass in that uh, object and that will be available to your email template all right and uh, another thing is that the subject is also capable of handling the variable so let's say I am saying I want to have users name here as well so it will be compiled for the subject as well alright so we will move on to the next section which is basically selecting the users to whom which you want to send this email to so currently the default is that you get to see the all the users in the list here and you can select to whom you want to send this email to these are all basically dummy users in my application and once selected you can you also have an ability to select or uh, unselect all the users once selected you can actually see all those users that you have selected here and i i will presume that in your application um, you would want to have different filters through which you can select the users to whom you want to send an email to so you can basically configure this to have different filters and then select users depending on those filters next up uh, for the attachments you have two different options basically to select the attachments 
one which says select existing and another is upload new so um, while working with emails there are often a particular doc set of documents which we keep sending to the users and I have configured this email editor in a way that you can have a directory in your Laravel direct project that is in the storage where you can define that this is my code directory for selecting the attachments and you can keep all your important PDFs or attachments that you keep sending there and you, you will see the list of those documents here and um, once you select that it will be added to the attachment and you also have an option to upload a new um, attachment if you would like so you can select any of the image or PDF file and once it is uploaded it will be in the live wire temp directory and um, it will be there in the list of attachments that you're trying to send to the user all right moving on to the next part which is basically to send the email you can have this configured to send at any later stage and you can select date and time uh, to schedule the email but for the simplicity we will just send this email now so let's say I send this email it says how many emails that are being sent using this email editor and we have selected four users and uh, since my queue is running we can actually check In the mail trap if it actually catched that email and if we look into the mail trap we see that we have got different emails in the mailbox and each of them have a different name compiled according to the user and this is how the email looks in the mailbox and you will also see that we had sent two attachments which was sample.pdf and this one and both of these are attached to the email edit email all right let's move on to the next section where i will demonstrate you how you can use this email editor to use to generate dynamic emails using chat gpt api so we have a cool little icon here if you click here you can just describe what kind of email you want to write let's say I want to write an email to welcome new users to the newsletter we will click the generate button and let the API do its magic and there you go you have an email which is updated by chat GPT which is created by chat gpt and then you can go ahead and modify this if you want uh, something different let's say there you go you have the full email you can then probably modify it here add some variables list of the features you want to put and then just select the users which you want to send the email to attach files and boom you are ready to go if we look into the code it is uh, basic uh, we have some variables which is used to store the template content and subject some variables to store the users some to store the attachments and once we have the content ready this method is particularly used to generate the preview for the users which basically uses the render method provided by laravel and also we have a blade render method which is basically used to compile all your variables uh, into the into their into the data this is used to compile the attachments this is used to compile the selected users and this is used to send the email and this one here we have is basically used to generate the dynamic e email via openai there are a lot of um, different view files and uh, laravel mailable files that goes along with this component to make it usable
and this is how the demo of email editor looks and uh, see you in the next episode thank you